Hello everybody and welcome back to Nova Atis. I've been working on our colony over here and I have uh, at least a few of every building type done. And it still won't let my colonists move in and I have colonists and slaves possible to move in. And still nothing. But anyway, we are going to be doing some tournaments this time. Can we get into feasts now? I can, sweet. It's kind of scary how it says everyone fire at will, but... Uh, okay. Your fame runs before you. Okay, um... Yeah, I really don't care to talk to nobles much. I almost clicked the wrong thing. I almost, like, insulted him immediately. Is this the Pope? He's just chilling. Sup? He's just, he's just chilling on the ground. That's cool. I could swear my vassalage, but there's no. Nuh-uh. Mm-mm. Okay, let's mess with the tournament options a little bit. I want to try some different stuff. Okay, yeah, I want to keep it at three so that, like, if I survive, then... I win, essentially. Uh, like, I don't have to kill anyone to win. Let's change my personal preference. Let's do... Do I want a two-handed weapon? I want a one-handed sword and shield. Uh, what? You've already... Oh, I want a one-handed sword and shield. That's my weapon choice. I want advanced weapon and armor. And then, can I change the actual tournament options? Wait, no, the, uh... Fight design. Can I change this to be just hysterical? Like, uh... A few one-handed swords. And then... Just bows. Lots of bows. Actually, majority bows. Let's see how this goes. I don't know how this is gonna work. But, you know... Oh, shit, my whole... Whoa! Uh, I was unable to cover a wager of 200. So shit, I have no money. Good. I'm gonna have to bet a lot less. Come on, men, shoot! Men! Assholes! I was in there! Oh, we all got knocked out. Okay, maybe bows are not the way. Okay, let's screw with the tournament settings some more. Oh, it's tournament standings. Uh, what, what else would be, let's try, uh, all mounted, and all, I don't know, all throwing weapons, see how that goes, it's probably just gonna be massacre though, um, I feel like a shield is probably what you want, I didn't get a horse? I have to select horse. Damn it, I should have lowered my bet. Whatever, I'm probably not gonna win anyway. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Wait, didn't I give them all throwing weapons? What the heck is going on? Come here. You bugger. Oh, come on. Why is this guy not going down? Good lord, who was he? Guardsman Dennis of Proven? Damn. That's why he wouldn't go down. He's a guardsman, I guess. That makes him tougher? Maybe? Oh, man. I'm getting slaughtered anyway. Damn, they don't mess around in their tournaments. Holy crap. Okay, let's lower our bet so I can actually pay for it. I don't know how much money I have. But we'll just lower it. To where I'll be guaranteed 200 essentially if I win. Maybe. Like right there. 24. Actually, no, because I get the bet back. So it'd make it to where the return would cover both of it. There we go. And then we'll lower it, actually. Lower it to two points. And go up a little bit. No, go up a little bit. There we go. I only got to kill two guys. I can do this. Okay, no horses. No throwing weapons. Just the one-handed and just the two-handed. And then let's change my personal ones back to a two-handed weapon. Because you can deal out so much more damage so much faster. Thank goodness I got the wager placed. 
Okay, man, come back here. You idiots! Charge, you fools. Come on. Let's get this done. Let's get this over. There we go. Let's do this. Okay, good. I won that bet. Yeah! Okay. That bet was successful. Tournament options. Wager. And then I'm going to say I'm going to get... Yeah, I'll just leave it at two points. This is real sad. Actually, my monthly, my weekly income is so much higher than that. Honestly. I need to go around and just hunt bandits for a while. We needed to do that after this. It's uh, actually very advantageous just to hunt bandits, oddly enough. You end up getting a lot. You get quite a lot of renown and... Uh, Come on, hit me! Woo! Woo! Can I do it? Oh man! That was a good one! Four points! Hey, I pulled way ahead in that one, but I'm still like... Yeah. Yeah. Way down there. I'm 10th. Man, the Pope is competing? Man, that don't... That doesn't seem right. Mr. Pope! What are you doing? Why is the Pope competing? That doesn't make any damn sense to me. Charge, men! Oh shit, three got knocked out like immediately. Oh man. Did he stagger me? He like sent me flying. Damn! He destroyed me. Come on. Man, they're so stubborn about where you tell them to go. Damn it. Damn it. They immediately took some out. I got one. I need out. I need one more kill. Stop it. Bad. Hang on. Oh. I was like, maybe I can scrape him off on this pole. No. No. They just walk around and they're like, what was that supposed to... They just kind of look at you funny. <laughs> okay. Well, let's look at our income. 4700 a week. Which is not bad. My, uh... Freaking colony is a massive drain. Why is the ironworks at Yalen still shitty? This. This I must know. Why is that ironwork so bad? Okay, let's go get some more papal troops because they are so good. Let's get some from Apuas as well as uh, Cedrus. Okay, now let's go Yalen. That's the one over here, right? Yeah. Let's kind of watch out because there are extremists on the road, and they are bandits that you do not want to mess with. Although I so I could have swore I just saw bandits over here. Did I not? Must not have. Damn. I could have swore I saw bandits. Huh. That's. I could have swore I saw the little white. The little, uh, the white numbers. That's all you really see when you just glance bandits. At least that's all I see. Though I am blind. Quite blind. Okay, let's go to our ironworks. Why the hell is this not profiting? What are you doing? Oh, it's just shitty. Um, I can't even invest anymore. Well, uh, let's just fire workers then. Um, yeah. I mean, if it's just drawn in a negative, we just do zero? Yeah, net profit, 25. Hey, I'll make a profit off doing nothing. Just sell the materials back to the market. I don't give a damn. Let's go get us another enterprise started. They actually are very uh, effective if I do them right. It's just that I was thinking of making tools when I should have been thinking of making a profit. While well, I still need to be making money. Let's go to Aldurus. Aldurus or Aldurius? Aldurius. Marketplace. Assess the local prices. Let's see what we can figure out here. If something sells very well here, 
Um, you're unable to find any trade goods that would bring a profit. Oh, because my, <laughs> my trading is one. <laughs> Why is my trading level one? <laughs> it's so bad. Okay, Guildmaster. Um, how's trade around here? We have a shortage of spice. A very large shortage of spice. Um, salt, iron, smoked fish. Chicken, pork, and some other commodities. There's been some trading activity recently, but not enough. Travel is coming from Alderberg. Traded about a week ago. There's a little news about the caravan routes. Hmm. Hmm. Well, there's not really... Something that seems like it would be good. You're low on wool, so being a craftsman would suck, because you're going to be buying stuffs real expensive. It wasn't low on grapes. Maybe I can make wine. Well, you know, we might as well try it. Let's do this. Wait, where's, uh, go to your workplace. There we are. Please don't be a long walk. Oh, it's a freaking, it's so far. I don't even know where the guy is. Where it, he's, oh my goodness. This is farther than the mill. Or no, it was a, uh, what was it? It wasn't a mill, it was a, uh... Oh my gosh, it's it's slipping my mind. Where'd it go? It wasn't a mill, it was a uh, brewery. The brewery was pretty long, but holy crap. Can't I just cheat and, like, look at him through the wall? Oh, thank goodness I can. So this is pretty much all I do when I do this. You just do this for, like, at least ten days or so, so that was two. You gotta wait till day. Or dawn, I should say. You go back in here and you go. You find you a fast route because you're gonna be doing this a lot. So you can build up your chance of making a masterpiece, which will then let you make the actual, like, sort of factory area thing. This isn't the enemy, is it? Okay, this is the enemy, right? Turgon Horde, yes. Oh lord. I need to run past them to Ikimur. I need to go pray. I don't go pray enough. I need to be doing that. I need to be getting uh, getting my stats up for prayer and stuffs. There's a Cathar castle right there that I found at some point. That's kind of terrifying. Boar horde? Cathars. Um, I probably could not take Cathars. We could try. Actually, I'm not sure I can catch them. How fast are they going? 5.9. Yeah, no, we're not going to be able to catch that. There are boars. Deer. Deer. Where'd he go? Deer. Damn it. That sucks. We've got 11 influence points. Uh, 4,500 florins. Party gained a morale. And uh, I got some trait off camera that gives me, like, plus one prestige per week. Which really doesn't make a difference, because, like... Let's look at this, shall we? Class information. Required prestige. 2,000! So, yeah, there's that. I'm currently in the aristocrats. I don't know when I got aristocrats. Not really sure. Okay, do we have food and water? Clean water, clean water. We're a little low on both. Just a little bit. Not much. Dirty water. There's clean water. Be funny if it was actually all the same price and uh, they charge you the same just because they expect the customer not to look. That would be hilarious. <laughs> I could see that actually happening somewhere. Okay, let's go over there and then we'll travel slow. There's a boar herd right there. You receive an offer of vassalage, Grandmaster Adenicus of the Aegonic Order has sent a royal herald. To bring you an invitation to his own hand. Um, he will sure, surely be offended if you do not take the offer. Uh, ooh. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know, man. Ooh. Is Marian, is Marian Crossbowman sound like a fun fight? Oh, yes. And they ran from the other people so I can get closer. Can we catch these guys? Manhunters. Holy crap. They're fast. Catch them! 
Yes! Okay, there's deserters and manhunters. Help the manhunters. Charge! 91 against 25. Follow me. I actually have... I actually have some horsemen now. Sweet! Wait, are those mine? Did I choose a banner yet? Yeah, I did. Whoa. Oh, there is Mirian crossbowmen. I forgot. Charge! I like how it actually tells you the divisions, uh... Like how they're how they're standing the uh, what's it called the formation? Oh, that's butter, just like butter. Oh my goodness! Look at this. That's so sad. I'm so sorry. Oh, you have a flag. That's so cute. That's so cute. He had a flag. It's like a little boy. Oh, come on. Yeah, he he's pretty good with his shield, honestly. I could use him in my army. Let's get this guy. Stupid crossbowman. Okay. I definitely need to turn all my flags off. Uh, all my bannermen. See, um... It just takes up space. They can't fight. They just do nothing. It's stupid. Although that, that windblown banner is a pretty cool model, honestly. Uh, thank you for your help, sir. What do we want to do with these guys? Do we want a tiny bit of prestige, or do we want Florence? I don't know. Um, I'm going to take him prisoner, actually. Rescues. We have some beggar uh, recruits, footmen, and skirmishers. And then two is Mirian crossbowmen. I don't really want any of those people for my troop. They just don't appeal to me. I don't know. I'd like to sort of keep it all the same. Manhunters are friendly. So nothing to do there. I need to get to Ikemur safely, preferably. This is about to be real scary, probably. Oh, a monk walks along you. Oh, it's this guy. It's this this thing. Uh, oh, goodness. This is a horrible one. Okay, the best thing we got here, pretty much... I want the lowest chance of getting a bad trait. That's all I'm looking for. Uh, so I can take this. This is about the best we got. Option three. Get anything good? Did we get something bad? No? Nothing. Better than something happening, honestly. Aldred's army... Uh, someone else's army. Oh, it's the Agonic Order. Okay, now's the really sketchy part, because it's night, and someone could just sneak up on us and no out of nowhere. Hopefully that's, a uh, okay. That's just Step Bandits. I remember fighting Step Bandits when I did Fantasy Cal Radio. That was my first series. Huh. I remember doing that stuff. Okay, let's get some prayer in before the end of this episode. Well, prayer and uh, some donation. Donation is just instant. Um, what is it? Instant piety. See, piety increased by one. Make a donation. I can say like 2,500. Yes. Piety increased by two. So, <laughs> that's a good fast way to do that. What is my piety actually right now? Honor of three. Renown of 427, which is surprising. That's mostly from... Profit, I believe. Party morale is kind of bad, honestly. Uh, character report. Piety 14. Uh, and influence 1200. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, so hopefully next time we can get some more stuff done. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you did, then leave a like because it really helps out. Until next time, have a nice day and I'll see you later.